Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am uh, actually out here working on the Dual Sport Shop progress, trying to get this temporary uh, kind of shop set up that you see above me here. So this is the uh, carport that I showed several videos ago that used to just have posts over here. And you can see here, all in there now, um, sort of on its way. So. It um, takes, takes a little bit of time to frame a wall when you have to build these, like a temporary support. You know, this is just a temporary support. It doesn't even have a bottom plate or anything. I kind of had this other beam that I stuck up here next to the one that's existing to hold the roof up so I could take the posts out. You can see there was a post there so that I could then frame a wall and get it in place underneath it and then I'll take the temporary wall back out um, once that's done so I have a top and a bottom plate there just finishing this up so it's coming along pretty nice um, I'm, I'm uh, pretty happy with the progress oh and this man uh, I, I'm in uh, previous videos I showed this concrete going in so this is a nice fresh concrete slab uh, it's, you know, got sawdust all over it working out here, but, um, this is a nice fresh pour as of like a month ago, or, um, maybe, maybe a little more, maybe like a month and a half. This has been here now mm -hmm. and the concrete that was here is totally, uh, junk. It was just completely broken into a million pieces. So that got pulled out and uh, i did a video on that and we got fresh pad in here and we're enclosing this carport so that i can move my shop stuff my tools my motorcycle lift all that stuff this will become the dual sport shop here temporarily and then um then i can start working on uh the i'm calling it the guest shop <laughs> because uh, it's actually over there. So that building over there um, is currently a shop. Uh, it just, it has a garage door on one side. And if you've been following, uh, that is getting remodeled into a guest house. So because I'm doing something really awesome with it and um, it's gonna have the ability to remain a shop in the future, but it's also a guest house. So um, kind of building that for my mom so that she has a place uh, to live and to stay and uh, take care of her. So, um, but if she ever, you know, gets another place or something like that or whatever happens, um, that can be converted back into a shop. It'll just be a really, really awesome shop because it'll have like a full bathroom and uh, a full kitchen in it kind of off to the side it's going to be kind of like a studio um, apartment over there but i'm leaving the garage door i'm going to replace it with um like a you know an all glass garage door uh, so that it becomes basically like a window a huge window uh, on that side of the house so in the in the spring and fall when the weather's nice um she can open that up and have like basically one whole side of her house will be open it's going to be really sweet. I'm really excited about it. So anyway, I'm going to keep keep going at it here. So I'm going to uh, finish framing this in. And I've got a, you can see I have this this old pump house here. And it's kind of junk. It never, it never was really built very well. Uh, it has like, you know, it never got painted or anything. So the siding is going to have to come off at some point eventually. I'm not going to deal with that really right now. I'm just going to frame this wall up and I'm going to put kind of an opening there with a header. Uh, probably use that, uh, you know, six foot kind of header that I have up here using it as a temporary wall. It's just two, um, two by eights together. So I'll probably use that as a header down here above this little door and then uh, put in cripples. Is it cripples? Cripples that go above? <laughs> it's been so long since I framed houses for a living. Uh, when I That was my first career when I was a kid. And it's just been so long. I, I'm, I'm, my muscle memory is still there though. I can still, I've got all my tools in my tool belt down here uh, in the same places that they used to be. And so <laughs> 
my muscle memory is still to where I, I know where my tape's at. I know where my hammer's at. I know where my uh, speed square is at. Kind of neat. Okay, anyway, I, I digress. So, um, pulls above that uh, beam. Um, and then I'll have a nice opening there and then I'll have to attach it to that little pump house building that just has my pressure tank in it for my and my well and stuff is in there. So I want to be able to access that from inside the garage. So uh, I'll kind of frame that in eventually and get it connected. But for now, I'll just leave a hole there for that door so I can open the door and access it from inside. So I'm going to get the rest of this wall framed in that might be it for today i've been out here working quite a bit already um i had to put that temporary wall in and get two posts out that were there you can see kind of uh where that one was there if it'll that's uh, trying to focus on my finger that one and that one those posts came out and then um i had to bring all this material over it's kind of on the back other end of the property so um, yeah, anyway, enough talk. I'm going to get this wall framed in and uh, we'll see how this finished wall uh, holding up the roof looks. There you have it. We got that outside wall done. I think that's the hardest one because it's weight bearing. It's, uh, you have to kind of support that roof or it'll come crashing down on you. So this is uh, pretty sweet. Uh, we got that kind of hardest. Got our window in, just a four by four foot by four foot window. That's a 20, 28 or yeah 28 foot wall right there so i ought to be able to i'll have a i'm going to frame that wall in down there in that open space and i'm going to put a man door in the center where that gate kind of goes through and then uh that'll be kind of the studio end over there um until i can build my bigger shop so that'll be kind of the uh the dual sport mechanics area if you will and then uh for a door up here we're gonna do a just a 10 foot by seven foot and then another man door right there so anyway the hard part's done and <clears throat> as you can see i have access to my um pump house well i don't know if you'd call it a pump house it has a my pressure tank house <laughs> in there so yeah, so far so good, and just in time, because the sun set about uh, 20 minutes ago, so I'm going to call it a day, and then uh, next time I'll come out and see if I can frame uh, these other two walls, and at least get the framing done, uh, so that we can move on to siding and doors and all that exciting stuff, so... Thanks for coming along with me on this uh, sort of side adventure here. Um, this is all part of the dual sport life. I mean, you got to have a place to work on your bikes, right? So uh, working towards it. 
So, uh, subscribe if you're new, and uh, man, you know, do all the things, I guess. So, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.